Hi folks, it's 8 o'clock in the evening, it's the 26th of August, it's Monday, as of tomorrow I'm back on it with the astrology for a few days. Uh, today's been one of those weird days, got a lot done, I've been setting up a lot of stuff around the potentials for America, I've got my travel permit, so yeehaw, it looks like it's, it looks like it's going to happen, I should have a definite one way or another, hopefully by 24 hours from now, and then I'll start announcing an agenda of where I'm actually going, and what I'm going to be doing. Um, Today's been one of those strange days. There's been the conjunction of the Sun and Mercury in Virgo, and it's opposite Neptune. There's been a great deal of Neptunian energy over the last couple of days, a great deal more fog and cloud and mist and treacle and quicksand, nebulousness, uncertainty, doubt, even gullibility and the potential for deception or self-deception. Basically, it's a time of what I would flippantly call neurosis. It's where there's been a lot of um, uncertainty. I mean, look at me now. I'm, I'm struggling to find the words to describe it. I've done a lot of readings today and everyone seems to be in a bit of a mess. A lot of people are going through a lot of slippage and a lot of endings. Even my computer system's blown up, so I can't send out readings at the moment. It's all, everything seems to be in a state of flux and disorder. And I have a suspicion that the next couple of days is going to get increasingly murky and sticky, a bit like chewing gum on the pavement. And, okay, it's not really a big deal because underlying this over the coming few days, the sun's going to be applying in very positive ways to both Saturn and Jupiter. So I'm not too fussed about this. But if you've been finding that the last few days have had an element of confusion and fatigue almost, whether it be at the physical or the mental or the emotional or even the psychological, then it wouldn't surprise me. And I might suggest that this will continue for another 24 hours or so before, before easing up. And that by 24 hours from now, sort of late p.m. Tuesday night, UK time, there should be a degree more structure and consistency in, in the natural order of things as the sun applies to Saturn. It's not that it's a particularly difficult time, it's just that it's foggy. How can you make your mind up when you can't see where you're going? I mean, the moon's in the middle of Taurus, there's a lot of nice surf energy. In the next 48 hours, Mars is going to change signs, it's going to move from Cancer into Leo. So as, as we get more and more into this week, so the energy is going to become a lot more structured and a lot more communicative and a lot more proactive. But at the moment, Wow, it's like whichever way you turn is wrong. You don't know if you're upside down, inside out, back to front. At least that's the way I've been picking it up from a lot of people. And I suspect that it's going to stay like this for another 24 hours. So no big panic because the underlying theme is that of applied and con growing consistency. But I still think it's quite possible to push yourself too hard. If you're feeling knackered or fatigued or weary right now, then really don't push it in the next 24 hours because far better to just chill out and get a bit more sleep and eat well. When I see people with the sun opposite Neptune in their charts or when people when I see with Neptune in the sky opposite or square their sun for a year, I say to them, look, lots of dissolving, lots of confusion, lots of distortion, but also lots of weariness and lots of fatigue. So if you're one of these people, make sure you get time on your own every day to discharge. Otherwise you end up like a fuse box with too much electricity passing through it. Drink lots of water, take baths as much as if not more than showers and ideally saunas more than baths. And, um, yeah, once a month over the rest of this year, go to the seaside or go to a fast-flowing stream or river. Running water really counteracts what I see as the more nebulous and stagnant and negative effects of Neptune. Sun opposite Neptune, folks. This is what nebulousness is all about. Catch you later. Good night.